This is Heather Widener of Hugh Bijou for the 2016 Ice Resin Design Team. Today I'm going to show you some very inexpensive and simple ways to create the look of leading for stained glass windows in your ice resin pendants. The complete step-by-step -step instructions and photographs for the original version of this project as pictured here can be found on the Ice Resin blog. Today, however, I'm going to show you some alternative ways to create the letting in the faux stained glass look. In the original version of this project, I created the letting using photo editing software, drawing the lines in the software, and then printing them out on an inkjet printer onto transparency sheets. But I'm going to show you some alternatives to that so you don't need to have any of that software or equipment to get a similar look. One of the simplest ways to create the faux letting if you don't have any specialized equipment is simply to draw the lines on paper. You can use a black marker and draw on plain white copier paper, or you could use black construction paper or any other dark color paper you have to simply do the lines that way. You then would just cut out the negative space in the case of white paper, that would be all the white parts that remain, and then you would be left with simply the black letting lines. In this sample, I have cut out most of the white paper, but I've left some of it so that you can see the before and after of the small piece. One of the other nice things about this particular technique is that because we are wanting the letting to be dark, you don't have to do any other preparation on the paper before you put it in the resin. It doesn't matter if it absorbs resin and gets darker because we want it to be dark. So once you cut it out, you're pretty much ready to go. Now here's another idea for all you lovers of washi tape. Another way to create the letting is simply to use your washi tape. All I did was take the standard width little tiny washi tape and I actually cut the pieces into even narrower strips and laid them down in a somewhat abstract or kind of cubist look. Um, it gives definitely a different look to the flower, but it is a good alternative. And again, it's not something that you have to seal or do any other prep work. You simply cut up your washi tape and apply it to your already uh, hard resin. And because the tape is adhesive, it sticks and there's no other thing you have to do. And boom, you're done, ready to go on to the next step. The other thing I'd like to note about the washi tape is that the tape kind of acts like a dam. Um, what I did in this particular case was I had poured the colorless resin that acted as my base. I let that cure. Then I added the strips of tape into my abstract flower shape. The openings between the tape where in a stained glass window you would normally have the colored glass, I then filled very carefully with small amounts of the tints. And because the washi tape is a little bit raised up from the surface, it acts like a bit of a dam and keeps the tints from flowing as freely. So you have a little more control about over where the tints go and how your finished product looks. One of the most simple and basic ways to create the faux letting in your stained glass is simply to draw on your hardened cured resin with a permanent marker. You can do this completely freehand or if you prefer, print out a copy of your image and use it underneath your resin as a guide. In a similar vein to drawing on the hardened resin, you could also draw onto a transparency sheet or really any other piece of colorless transparent plastic that will take your permanent pen. Another material onto which you can draw directly with a permanent marker is clear packing tape. And there are two different reasons why packing tape is a pretty cool uh, product to work with in this case. Number one, when you want to affix the tape to your already hardened resin, you don't have to mix up a batch of resin to use as an adhesive. The adhesive on the tape will do all the sticking for you and you can just move directly to your doming layer.
The second thing that I found that's really cool about the packing tape is that the tents, if you apply small amounts carefully, they do not flow as freely on the packing tape as they do on some other surfaces. So if you're looking for a surface to apply the tents and you want to have a little bit more control, the non-sticky side of packing tape is another option for you. Now, if you don't have an open back bezel or you prefer to work with closed back bezels, you can still make this project. You just need to brighten up the back of the bezel so that the colors remain bright and pop and the leading remains visible even on top of the colored tints. You can do this by simply adding a small piece of the new ice resin foils, or if you don't have the foils, you could also even paint the inside of the bezel with a few layers of white acrylic paint. That would also work very well. I chose to add the tints directly to the foil rather than resin because I wanted to make sure that I didn't make the foil too dark before I put any resin into it. The other nice thing about the tints is that they dry very quickly, so applying them to the foils, it only takes a few minutes to dry, and then you're ready to go on to adding the resin to the bezel. Another tip, if you're trying to apply a little tiny bit, then put the tints onto a stir stick or a toothpick, and then put that into your mixture because it will deposit a lot less tint than dropping a drop directly from the bottle. I hope you enjoyed all these tips and hints on working with the new ice resin tints. For more information about ice resin, including lots of tutorials, visit iceresin.com. To purchase ice resin, the new tints, and lots of other fabulous products for jewelry making and mixed media, go to rangerinc.com. And to learn more about my work, you can find me online at hubijou.com and gemfabulous.com. Thanks and have a great day.